Hello everyone! My live video wasn't going live. I don't know why. I was like, oh, maybe, maybe I'm not supposed to be doing it, but then it, then it clicked in. <clears throat> Hi! Look at the light on me. What is up with this light? Holy Moses. So nervous this morning, you guys. What the heck? By the way, I've got my heart sweater on again. I think this is just my 30 Days IG Live sweatshirt I'm going to wear. Did I wear it yesterday? I can't remember, but I'm going to wear it every day. Um, do you guys want to see Mount Shasta? She's gorgeous. Like, Mount Shasta is beautiful today. Thank God it's not snowing like yesterday. Snowed. Hi, everyone. Yeah, it snowed yesterday. It was so awesome. Um, not so much. Okay, let me show you Mount Shasta. She's so awesome right now. So beautiful. I don't know. I'm hoping you guys can see her. Um, let me see. I'm hoping that that's the view. Could you see her? Did you guys see her? Hi, Catherine. Welcome, my love. Oh, my gosh. So good to see you here. Did you guys see Mount Shasta or not? Before I start my star family thing. Okay. Awesome. Hi, Thomas. I'm so glad you're here. Thomas will be here very soon, next week, I think, moving in his friend Sam. So that's awesome. Thomas, hopefully you'll have good weather. Catherine, you got to start doing these. You'd be awesome at the 30 Days IG Live Challenge. Um, if you're interested, because you're so, you have so much knowledge, um, about so many things. So just to, uh, just to let you know what we're doing, we're doing, um, we're doing 30 days of IG live videos and there's about eight of us that are doing it right now. And you just go on every day, um, and you just kind of riff about whatever you're feeling to talk about. And hi, Kelly. And so it's super fun, Catherine. You would love it because you have so much stuff to share about um, science and spirituality. Yay, Catherine. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited. Okay. Um, I'll touch base with you afterwards. Um, you're going to be awesome. People are going to love you. You have so much to share. Yay. Um, she's in. Yeah, Catherine. She's in. Catherine's in the um, Priestess Mystery School with me. Um, uh, that's weird. Hi, Kelly. Welcome. Um, yeah, so Catherine does amazing. So she takes like science stuff. Hi, Priscilla. And like really complicated, like what the hell is a proton, electron, all that crap. Um, and turns it and like turns it into like words that we can understand. And so she blends like the spiritual and the science together. And, um, and, um, she, uh, hi, hello. She, uh, blends it together so that you can understand it. It's amazing. Cause a lot of times you're like, what the hell does any of this mean? And then Catherine comes in and explains it and you're like, oh, that's unbelievable. That's so amazing. Um, so anyways, okay. So my subject today was going to be, um, awesome. I totally will, Catherine. Yeah. Brandy, she's amazing. Because um, I'm always, like, breezing over it, like, I don't know what that means. And then Catherine will come on and, like, explain it. And you're like, oh, my God, that's amazing. So today's topic is star families. Um, really quickly, I don't know why I'm so nervous to talk about star families. I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Hi, Lenny. Oh, my gosh, I love you. I'm so happy you're here supporting me. Um, just really quickly, you guys, this is my absolute favorite crystal of all times. It's a Namibian, Namibian crystal, pretty small, um, but the most powerful crystal I've ever had. And they're really hard to find. Um, anyways, if anybody has the ability to grab a Namibian, kind of like the country, I think. In Africa? Namibian. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. I take, I, ha I use it with, I mean, anything I do, I'm like, my Namibian is like my 
life force. Okay, so let's talk star families really quickly. Um, actually, not really quickly, but... So I wanted to start the conversation with an experience I had. About two years ago, I did a QHHT. And a QHHT is a quantum healing hypnosis therapy session. Um, okay, hurry up, come back. Um, which is, it was designed by Dolores Cannon, who passed away a couple years ago. And basically, it's a technique that she designed that brings you into a really deep hypnosis and um, basically connects you to your higher self towards the very end. And you go into past lives um, and you go, you go pretty deep. You go and you can heal a lot of things, and it's a really long process. It's like a four and a half hour experience. Um, yeah, 2014. Good morning, Luna. Hi, love. Um, anyways, it's a really powerful experience. And so, when I did mine in 2014, September, before I went to Thailand, I um, I had some pretty profound and powerful experiences. And one of the experiences I had was this. Um, this very clear message about star families. Um, and here's what it was. So I was taken into a ship. I was taken into a Palladian ship, a huge Palladian ship. Um, and they showed me, they showed me the planet. And then what they showed me was, I would say, a, I mean, thousands, you guys, thousands of ships all around the earth. And when I say thousands, I'm talking, I mean, like a lot. Um, the light's really bothering me right now. A lot of ships. Um, and they started to explain to me how we are connected to our star families. And it's pretty, it's pretty phenomenal what they told me because... What they said was, we, all of us did, all of us came from somewhere else, right? So we didn't come from this planet. We originally, obviously, oh, you did, Thomas? Yes, that's, that's why when I, when you were telling me that you went, went up, um, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, that's cool that you saw that. Um, they're all over. It's amazing, you guys. They're thousands all in the sky. Um, supporting us right now. So, um, okay, so we didn't come, we came down to the planet um, from star systems, right? All over the universe, star systems. I mean, there are thousands of them. And um, there's some very popular ones that we all know about, right? The Palladians, Vega, Octurus, um, Sirius, Orion, um, Lyra, Alpha Centauri. So those are like the really popular ones um, that we all know of. But there are thousands. I have clients that are like, have you ever heard of this star system? And I'm like, no. Um, but that's where they're from, right? So it's almost like we're little visitors on the planet. But we've been here. But there's some people that have been here for thousands. Um, nice, Catherine. Octurious in the house. That's so awesome. Um, th th some people have been here for thousands of thousands of years. Some people have been here for only a couple hundred years. Some people, this is their first lifetime. Um, so anyways, you can imagine, right, that there's all these star systems that are our homes, that, are, that are, our families are at. And there was a time at some point where we were like, hey, it's, I'm going go to go down to Earth. I'm going to go volunteer. I'm going to go experience this duality and this third dimensional density and emotions. And, and a lot of us, especially those that are on this call right now and just light workers in general, um, decided to volunteer for specific reasons. So there's all kinds of reasons that we came down and we left our families, all kinds of reasons. Um, and a lot of us right now came down, obviously, to, um, to help shift the planet through this ascension, right? And bring in the light. Okay, so long story short, we all came from somewhere. We all came from our unique star system. And um, 
And so here's the awesome, amazing thing. And I think about this all the time. I think I wrote about it in a post. Um, what the fuck were we thinking? So true, Catherine, right? Like there, are, I mean, I don't know. Good question. No idea. What were we thinking? Um, but okay. So this is what they showed me. We have a cord, um, an etheric light energetic cord. Every single one of us, even Trump, even freaking you name it. Okay. Every single one of us has a cord connecting us to our star family. Wait, was there a question? Oh my God, Deanna, you're so cute. Um, I think there was a question, but I might have missed it. I'm sorry, I get so into it. Okay, there's a cord that connects us straight to our star family. So you can imagine all these ships, right? And then literally every single one of us has a a light that is connecting us to our star family. And it's almost like our life force. It's like, um, it's how we stay connected to why we're here. And I, I can guarantee you, so many of you watching this have looked up in the sky and felt like going home, right? Like you look up and you're like, I want to go home. Like, I don't feel like this is home. And you look up, right? You're looking up because you know that's where you came from. And it's because you have this cord connected from you to your star family. You also have the cord that I talked about yesterday that connects you from your higher self straight up to source, right? That's the same cord. It's not the same cord. It's the same type of energetic cord. And so when you have that urge, that feeling of like, I want to go home. I want my family. I want to, um, I want, I want that that homey thing, you know, and you're looking up, that's your star family. So we're always connected to our star families and they are literally right there and it's our life force. And so as we're moving about our days, it's like you have to remember that they are here with us. They've been with us. It's like as if like you have a family right now and your kids are like, hey mom, I'm going to go like, I don't know some country or something, right? And so you have the ability to sort of watch through a camera lens your child as they're experiencing their life in Africa or wherever they went, right? And so the entire time they're there exploring and doing everything they're doing, you're watching and you're supporting them and you're cheering them on and, and they can't hear you, but you know that energetically you guys are connected and you're guiding them and you're doing everything you can to help her do the best that she can. That's what our star families are doing right now for us. Um, and that's why they're there. And so they were saying like, so they were showing me these cords um, connecting all of us um, and how when you feel that disconnect, right? excuse me, when you feel the disconnect of no longer sort of being connected to that, to that star system, um, it's not that you're not connected to it. It's just for whatever reason, you're just not feeling, um, the connection, but we're always connected and they're right there at all times. So, so visually you can experience, you can see that, right? Like you can, you can see that there's a, a, an etheric energetic cord connecting you. So if you can visualize that and imagine that going forward, you know you're not alone. Um, now, how do you find out your star family? Um, so there's a lot of different ways. I mean, you can go to people and they can tell you what your star family is. They can tap into that. Um, Dana, what's up, lady? Oh my goodness, love. Hello. So happy you're here. Um, we're talking all things star family right now. Um, so how to find out about your star family? I don't know. I'm not an expert about any of that. But what I do know is that we have everything inside of us to figure it all out, right? So you could definitely for sure go to somebody and they can, um, they can, they can tap into your higher self, right? And they can tell you um, perhaps who, your star family. Um, 
or you can try to do it yourself and it's not hard. So all you need to do is first of all be aware that you have a star family, number one. Number two, visualize that cord, right? So begin to start to connect to that cord, like really feel that cord going from your heart up to that ship, wherever that is, that family that's sitting there watching you and, and guiding you and cheering for you as we're on this planet, um, doing the work we came here to do, they're cheering for you. Um, picking you up when you fall down, that's your star family. They're around you all the time, by the way. Your star family is around you all the time. And the more you're able to connect, um, the more you're able to access them and their information. No, your star family and your spirit team are a little bit different. Um, and I can talk about that later, but um, your star family is basically your family. Your spirit team is your guides that are um, with you throughout your life, kind of um, doing the same thing that your star family does, um, but in a different way. And we can talk about, I can talk about your spirit team or your um, galactic council or whatever you call those, how, whatever word you use, but... Um, so maybe I'll do another one, live one on that, because that's a cool one as well. Figuring out who your council is and your spirit team and all that. Um, and it always changes. There's always one main guide that you have, one or two, that are, has, are with you since the beginning, but we all have a galactic team or a spirit team. Okay, so to find out your star family, here we go. I don't know about that. I have to figure that one out. Okay, sorry. So, you close your eyes, and you connect to that light cord, right? And so what we do is we tap into that cord that's reaching up, and we ask. So we ask the question, um, you know, you can ask it in any way that feels comfortable for you to ask, but you just ask that your star family um, present themselves or that your star family uh, tell you their name um, or um, allow please allow my star family to begin to communicate with me please I would love to I would I want to know who my star family is I want and then here's what you do right so you're asking for the information to come in you're asking for them to give you that information and then you listen and, and you listen with your, with your intuition, right? So you're not listening with your head. So your head's going to play, play games with you. Yeah, you can be connected to a lot. Yeah. Um, oh, Marie. Yes, I know, love. I know. So you can try this. Um, you can try to connect to it. So if you, and you can do it pretty quickly and pretty easily if you just allow yourself to, um, to listen with your, with your feeling, listen with your intuition. Imagine that chord, okay? Imagine, just go into a quick, quiet, eyes closed, short meditation, right? Um, visualizing the chord, asking for them to come in, Trusting what you hear and what you f feel. So, again, there's thousands of different star families. Um, and they all can have some funky, weird names. So whatever you hear, whatever pops into your head, don't question it, right? Feel into it. So, feel into... Something might pop in, right? Like the Pleiadians. And then you're going to feel into that, right? And you're going to sit and feel like intuitively in your body, like how does that feel? And so, and start to listen and feel into it. And trust, trust what you're feeling, trust what you're hearing. Don't think too much about it. So allow yourself to, allow your body to feel into what they're, what they're telling you. And if you don't get anything, fabulous, awesome. Get it, it'll come another time, you know? So just keep asking and listen. And they're, they'll, they're right there. So they'll tell you. Um, they will tell you. I do have to say, this is a little bit um, interesting. I, um, 
some of us don't have a star family necessarily that we came directly from. Um, and that's a, that's another video. Um, but most of us did. So try this extra, try that exercise out. Um, no, Marie, uh-uh, it'll come to you. Um, like I said earlier in the video, I had clients that are like, I was told I'm from the star family and they say the name and I've never heard of it and they've never heard of it, um, ever. So, um, I mean, I was, there's names that are, uh, that'll pop up and you'll be like, well, is this a star system? Um, and it is. And you can look it up and you can research it and you'll be like, holy cow, that really is. Um, oh, Lynn, you lost sound. Can you guys hear me? Um, yeah, so the, the name will pop in and it'll be like, holy cow, that's where I'm from. And then you'll start to feel into that and they start experiencing it. it you know what all this is? All, these, all this is like learning about your higher self, learning about your star family, learning about where we came from and all the other stuff. It's just about knowledge. It's just about acknowledging and understanding what's happening. Um, oh yeah, there's definitely hybrids for sure. Okay, I'm back. Um, it's simple. It's easy to connect as long as you realize that it doesn't take, you don't have to be a spiritual person. You don't have to be like a highly evolved, vibrating, you know, sitting in Lotus to talk to your star family. Um, you don't have to go to class. You don't have to get a certificate. You don't have any of that. This is our, this is our given right for being on the planet. We, this is, we were birthed here and we have access and knowledge like every single other person with certificates, without certificates, with all the schooling, without all the schooling. We have it. It's all within us. So, you don't have to be this spiritually evolved being um, to be able to access your star family. You know, all you need to know is that is that you that, that you're connected at all times, no matter who you are, and ask for them to come in and listen. Just listen, because they'll tell you they're right there. They're ready to talk to you and be with you. And it's just us. It's our minds not believing, right? Um, Right, a lot of the names are named by humans, right. So, you know, we tend to go towards the, the very um, obvious names of like um, Sirius and Orion, and, and a lot of us came from those star systems. Um, but man, there are so many other ones out there. The damn ego, yeah. So our ego is gonna stop us from, um, from a lot of this beginning work, right? Of like, holy shit, I just felt like my, I, excuse me if I just cussed. Um, holy cow, I just, I think my star family is this. I mean, what we have to realize is, yeah, this is a little bit, for a lot of us, this is an, a concept that's a little bit cuckoo, right? Like, whoa, I'm from a star family. But the more you hear it, the more you understand it, the more you experience it, it's like, yeah, you, you kind of are. Um, you absolutely are. I love cussing. Nice. <laughs> you too. Um, I always do it, and I try not to. Um, yeah, so, I mean, I could go on for hours, but um, just try out, um, yeah, taking away those e that ego, man, it stops us. It's like, oh, we're not good enough to find out what our star family is, or, oh, that's not the right name, or I don't know what I'm doing, or um, people are going to think I'm crazy, um, or you know, all that other stuff that pops in. So it's just practice. It's just, um, it's just learning how to listen to the ego and watch the ego and then, and then come back to your heart and your intuition, come back to your feeling. Um, my guide Adama has been really teaching me lately how to feel into everything that's coming to me, um, and use my feeling and my intuition, that, that feeling part of me as my guide, um, and as my compass, and as my place where I get my answers. Um, 
Oh my God, Dana, join the 30 days of IG live. <gasps> you totally should. Catherine's joining. Um, I don't know if she's still on, but Catherine's joining us. Um, and um, yeah, Marie's here. She's doing it. Kelly, you should do it. Um, anyways, Dana, if you want to reach out to um, Randy or I to do um, 30 days of IG Live, you guys, if anybody's interested in doing it, um, it's amazing and it brings you out of your comfort zone and it l allows you to begin to start speaking your truth and speaking why you're here and the messages that you have to share um, and getting you out there and it's amazing. So if anybody else wants to come and um, play around with us, do it. I know Yogi Joe's starting tomorrow, April 1st. Um, Yogi Joe, I don't know what it, I think it's Yogi Joe. What is it, Yogi Joe? Anyways, all right, loves. Um, I think I'm going to go. Um, are there any questions really fast before I take off? Noon tomorrow, Yogi Joe Garrido, Yogi underscore Joe Garrido. Um, We'll be on. Dana, you should join, love. It's so good. Oh, gets you out of your head. Gets you out of, like, your own sort of, like, what the hell's going on in my life place. Um, it's pretty amazing. Do you guys want to see Mount Shasta? I showed a couple people in the beginning, but she's pretty beautiful right now. Dana, that's a yes. I can feel it. Okay, wait, you guys. Hold on. Let me show you Shasta. <laughs> Watch! Hi, beauty. All right, I'm going to go. Dana, let us know if you want to join. Kelly, Catherine, we'll reach out to you. Um, did you see Shasta? Wait, did you see it? Did you see it? Did you see it? Hold on, let me do it one more time. Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see her. I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Okay, love you guys. Um, so, hashtag 30 days of IG Live to see who's coming up next. Um, hi, Catherine, love. So glad you're here. Um, glad you were able to make it, even for a little bit. Oh, my gosh, my purple curtains, I know. Um, all right, you guys, I'll be back tomorrow morning, 11 a.m. I don't know what I'm going to talk about this time, but... Um, oh, maybe our... Um, our council and how to reach our council, how to reach the council. That's fun. Um, yay, Marie, I'm glad you were here. Thanks, Luna, for joining. Love you guys. And um, look for Luna Starseed and Priscilla um, Flower Child. And oh my God, so many others. December Deanna, Brandy Littles, Inner Peace Goddess, all kinds of us. Lemuria. I can do Lemuria. I love Lemuria. I could do Lemuria for sure. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do Lemuria. Although I did tell us yesterday. Maybe something a little bit different. Um, okay, Inner Peace Goddess is getting on a couple hours, so look for her. Bye, Lenny. I love you. Okay, guys, I love you guys. Um, I'll put this on YouTube if you want to watch it and get some more information. Or if you missed any of it, it'll be on YouTube. Um, yeah, Catherine, go to YouTube. It's um, My YouTube channel is Lori of Lemuria. And um, I'm going to put it up. So, um, yay, Mew. Um, so, hi, Austin. Glad you were here. And I got to go. Okay, Dana, talk to you later. I got to go, too. Love you guys. Um, Check out the YouTube channel. You'll be able to watch this over again if you want. And um, do hashtags 30 Days of IG Live and watch everybody that pops on. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.